Indy Mogul. I'd like to make it up to you. Do you like coffee? Yes, I do. I don't get it. Why would she ask me out? Are you nervous? <laughs> yes. This Molly is a hard 10. Meanwhile, the guy's a five. <laughs> <laughs> You seen the advertising campaign for this film? Sure, they call Alice Eve a 10 and Jay Baruchel a 5, but how did their co stars get dragged into this? How is this guy an 8 and this guy a 6? Plus, on the film's website, you can get yourself rated. Boy, that sure is smart thinking, Paramount and DreamWorks. Insult your moviegoers and then ask for their money. But you know what? I'm going to see this movie anyway because it's shot on location in Pittsburgh where my grandmother lives. I've actually been to the Pittsburgh International Airport, the Andy Warhol Museum, and Century 3 Mall many a times, places that are all in this movie. And if Jay Baruchel asked me out, I'd say yes because he's sweet and funny, and sweet funny guys are always a 10. So once again, we're going to do a mixed review of us, the BTT crew, and audiences of She's Out of My League. It's 10.15 a.m. on Friday at AMC Theaters. It's not very crowded for this first showing, but we're going to check it out, and after the break, you'll find out what we and audiences think of the movie. Hey, Andy Mogul. I'm Third Floor Productions, and this is a 10-second trailer to my new short film called Public Service. Take your cigarette butts back. Oh, Action. Whoa! Mike, don't work here. Was uh, Green Eggs and Ham a TV show? So the movie says Alice Eve is a 10 and Jay Baruchel is a 5. What do you give the movie? I give it an 8. I give this movie an 8. 8. Definitely a solid 8. Do you think they handled it well? Was it a sweet movie or is it a gross out movie? Sweet. Sweet? Aw, oh, what a cute movie. I really liked this movie. It took place in an airport uh, for half of the film, so I thought that was kind of cool. I got a little scared in the beginning because they were just making him, uh, the main character, Jay Baruchel, just too much of a loser, and his family was just too mean to him, and he was kind of contributing to it. So for the first 10 to 15 minutes, I got like kind of really worried that this was going to be a sucky movie. Well, you know, with Jay Baruchel is one of the last people from Judd Apatow's uh, gang to get on the silver screen. Is he as good as Seth Rogen and Jason Segel? Which character was that? He's the lead guy. The lead guy. guy. Yeah. yeah, he was good. Good character. It was great acting. He was pretty good. Uh, at times, I thought he was overshadowed uh, by some of his cast members, uh, but he still always took it back. He, uh, you always wanted to you know, be on his side and root for him and say, hey, dude, you're not that bad looking. You know, we all got good days and bad days, but you're you know, taking care of business with this hot chick, so you're doing okay. You know, he had to take a lot of pot shots at himself, calling himself a five and going through his list of problems, uh, with some of them which are, are unfortunately real for him, but uh, you know, that made it very poignant, and he did. He really pulled it off. He he was very nice. He really he he really did come across as a ten. Did you was, believe their relationship? I did, I did. It took a while, but it was it was believable. One thing that made me personally like this movie is uh, some people would say that my wife is out of my league, but I got the hot chick, and so did this guy. So I I really enjoyed it because you know sometimes you know you might not feel like a ten, but you are when you're with that one you love. To me, this is kind of like uh, the knocked up formula of like your funny comedian uh, matched with this. Uh, hot girl, okay? And I thought that this movie was actually better because it had such a nice relationship. Like, like you actually like the relationship that develops between Jay Baruchel and Alice Eve. It's like, you're like, you're rooting for it. Do you think this is worth seeing in theaters? Is it a rental? What do you think? I like theaters. It's a really good movie. It's a very solid movie. I really enjoyed it. I found myself doing that girly thing where you smile during the movie at the screen. But, uh, you know, I could do that at home too. So if you want to go to the movies, you would definitely have a great time seeing this, but you could also easily wait for it on rental and it would be a fabulous rental. The movie's definitely worth seeing. I think it's something that you could bring a, a date to. Uh, it's really something um, you would enjoy uh, as a rental or in the theaters. Pittsburgh looked lovely, although I did not see my grandma in any of the shots. So it looks like this movie might be in your league as we give it an eight. And don't forget that Beyond the Trailer is out here every week covering every major new release. So be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25 and you've just gone Beyond the Trailer.